process of reducing your energy usage begins with measuring how much electricity you are using, how much money you are spending on that electricity. Now it's time for you to analyze your bill a little closer and look for areas where you are using too much electricity. Hi, my name is Brad Gallant, the principal at Beyond Green Consulting. And I'm Peter Gallant. Welcome to the Gone Green to Save Green video series. In this video on calculating conservation, we'll be speaking about the three ways to analyze your energy usage by time of use, by type of use, and usage per floor area. Each measurement can give you an indication of how you're using energy and show you opportunities to improve. Homeowners are charged for electricity usage using kilowatt hour rates that can be unchanging or change slightly dependent on when you use power. In places like California, New York, and Florida, higher charges for electricity occur during periods of high energy use called peak demand. Power prices increase because utilities always use their cheapest generating stations first and then use more expensive power stations after. Not only are the last power stations used more expensive, they often produce more greenhouse gases than the cheaper stations. For instance, hydropower is inexpensive. Diesel generation is expensive. Florida has two prices to try and stop people from using too much power when there is peak demand. California has five different price levels. Off-peak pricing is like pizza on special, or a coupon for a restaurant. If you use power off-peak, like only washing your clothes on the weekend, it is cheaper. Mid-peak pricing is regularly priced electricity. On-peak pricing is more expensive pricing to try to prevent everyone from using the electricity all at once. It's like buying a pizza at a fancy amusement park. If you're really, really hungry, you will pay $10 per slice on-peak. But if you can wait, when you leave, you can get a full pizza with a coupon for $10 off peak. The second way to look at your power use is to figure out what devices use the most power. Energy usage has regular patterns that follow the seasonal changes in temperature. Usage tends to increase in the winter and in the summer and moderate in the spring and fall. Patterns are influenced by the seasons. In the winter, lights are on longer and heating systems run more. In the summer, lights are down, heat is off, but demand peaks with summer cooling loads. If you look at your bills closely, you will find that bills are more sensitive to temperature changes in the summer. Why? Cooling is typically provided by electricity, where heat is provided by fossil fuel. Hot days really change grid electricity consumption. So by looking around your house, there are five main types of charges. Lighting charges that go up and down with the season. Heating charges that typically happen in the winter. Cooling charges that apply in the summer months. Though pool energy use normally happens in the summer as well. Appliance charges like your fridge and stove that change little with the weather. And electronic charges that are pretty consistent all year round. Depending on where you live, these charges will account for more of your family spending on electricity. A final way to take a look at your energy bill is to figure out how much energy your family uses according to the floor area of your house. So if I live in a 200 square meter or 2000 square foot home, and I use 10,000 kilowatt hours per year at 13 cents per kilowatt hour, the average US kilowatt hour cost for residential customers, I use 50 kilowatt hours per square meter or five kilowatt hours per square foot each year. That is 65 cents per year per square foot for electricity. Measuring energy usage per floor area is a way of measuring how much you are using energy compared to other families. If you figure out how much energy you are using, and it seems really high compared to your classmates, Maybe there are opportunities to save energy in your house. You can also check to see if you're using more energy during peak times than your friends, and to see if you're using more of one type of energy. Checking only your total energy usage might not give you the best indication of how you are doing. Energy use will change year by year, depending on the weather. But by comparing yourself against averages in your class or your city, you can get a better indication of how well you're doing conserving energy. So remember, when you're analyzing your energy usage, check some key indicators. See when you're using energy and try to avoid using energy at peak times. Find out how you're using energy. Do you use more energy lighting, heating, or cooling your home? Then compare your energy usage with your friends. See how they are doing and see if you find areas where you can reduce your energy usage. Now, let's go beyond green. 